how to use Mendeley application. With so many different databases, online journals, and websites, it can be pretty overwhelming to manage your references and keep them all organized, especially if you are doing it manually. There are many different reference management software programs that can make the process of managing your references almost effortless. One of the most popular reference manager software is Mendeley. Mendeley is a free reference manager and academic social network that can help you organize your research, collaborate with others online, and discover the latest research. Let's start. To install Mendeley Desktop, Go to the Mendeley website from your browser www.mendeley.com Now you can see the Mendeley homepage. You need to download the application first. Go to the download menu on the right top part of the homepage and click download. Choose the application by your operating computer system if need a mobile application, you can download the mobile version on App Store and Google Play. Installation After you download the application, you need to install it on your computer. Follow the instruction when you do the installation. Mendeley Registration Register your account in Mendeley application. Use your email and make a password for Mendeley. Install plugin for Microsoft Word. Mendeley is compatible with Word, LibreOffice, or OpenOffice if it is detected on your computer. Install the plugin from the Mendeley application. After you finish the installation, a Mendeley logo will appear in your Microsoft Word. How to use Mendeley? You can see three panels on the Mendeley application. The first one is the library overview. The second one is the reference list. And the last one is the document details. You have two options to add files in your Mendeley applications. First, drag and drop your file to reference list. Or, you can choose and upload your file from Mendeley menu. Mendeley will automatically extract the details from the document and create a library entry. Whenever you add a new reference to your library, it is highly recommended that you review its detail for accuracy. If you need to amend the detail of a selected paper, click into the appropriate field Mendeley's Document Details panel and apply the required change. Your ability to cite accurately is dependent on the accuracy of your library entries. So, we recommend taking the time to thoroughly review new edition. If you need additional reference for your paper, you can use Literature Search. Selecting the Literature Search tool brings up an empty search pane. Typing a query in this box, you can limit your search to others, article titles, publication names, year of publication, and to only open access publication. When you've got results, you can add them to your library by clicking the Save button 
that appears above the details pane on the right, or by simply dragging and dropping the article from the results pane to any folder in my library or group that you are a member of. You'll be able to see whether or not the full article is available when you select the document. On RIS file, you can only see document abstract. You need to search in and upload your reference file. If you see an icon like in picture number 2, the file is unable to open, so you need to re-upload your file. If you see PDF icon, it means the document is full text and available. You can see the list of files after you upload it in the Mendeley application. The green button is assigned for Android files that you have. Mendeley offers a search tool that allows you to easily retrieve your references. Enter a search term in the field and Mendeley will return the appropriate result. Mendeley Desktop Search Tool is context-specific. If you are viewing a particular folder, Mendeley will only search items within that folder. You can use this to quickly pinpoint specific resources. To search your entire library, ensure that all documents is selected. Inserting a citation You can cite your reference file from Microsoft Word. Click your reference menu in Microsoft Word. Click Insert Citation, choose your file name on Mendeley, and click OK. You can choose the desired citation style from the drop-down menu in Microsoft Word. You can also make a bibliography by clicking Insert Bibliography in the Microsoft Word menu. After you have inserted one or more citation, you can use Mendeley Cite to automatically create a bibliography of all the references you've cited. Make a group in Mendeley. Groups are quick and easy to create. Anyone with a Mendeley account can create new groups. Groups allow you to share knowledge in a number of ways. Adding materials to a group in Mendeley Desktop is very straightforward. You just need to select the appropriate papers in your library. Drag and drop them onto the group entry in the left-hand panel. Private groups have many enhanced features designed to aid collaboration, including allowing control over membership, the sharing of full-text documents, and multi-user annotation. Mendeley Mobile Applications We can download Mendeley for mobile applications. Mendeley support in iOS or Google Play. For example, we download and install Mendeley for mobile from Google Play. After download your mobile application, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Mendeley details. These are the same email address and password you use for Mendeley Desktop or Mendeley.com. The app will attempt to sync each time you open it. Or, whenever you press the sync button in the top toolbar, sync on load can be disabled in the setting menu. For example, you are traveling abroad and worried about roaming data charge. On mobile applications, you can see all documents that you have in your desktop applications. 
If you access click details, you can see DOI of documents, ISBN, ISSN, and also the PDF file if they're available in the applications. You can also read the reference document in PDF version from your mobile applications. And that's it! If you have any questions, our librarians are happy to answer through these channels. Don't forget to follow and subscribe our social media. Thanks for watching!